What's going on everybody? Paul here from the COD Brothers Gaming today, aka Super Saiyan Paul. And today we're playing Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon, finally getting to it. The college semester is over and what the hell I have a save? I guess that's probably from when I first got the game. So I'm going to select the money bags icon because you guys know what's up with him. And here we go. An evil plot unfolds. Wake up. villain emerges. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. A desperate rescue begins. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the Dragon Worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The Forgotten Worlds. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. And so our adventure begins. I gotta say that this game is amazing. Hunter, where are you going? Come back. We're gonna collect all the gems in the home world starting off with because that's what we always do. And you're gonna need all the gems if you guys want 100% this. And I've done this in like a similar pattern every time I played this. So let's see, collect all the gems, make sure you don't miss any. And in this game, there are no orbs. You have to collect eggs. So we have to save the dragons before they become breakfast. Gotta get all these treasure chests. And all of these home worlds have so much life in them. That's why I'm kind of sad and disappointed that these games aren't on Vita. They're on PSP and PS3, but Crash Bandicoot and Spyro? Nope, not on Vita. Makes no sense. Alright, so this is all clear. Let's get this egg. Who is this? What's his name? Isabel. Goodbye. And he got absorbed. Here is the first level, Sunny Villa. And, uh... Oh, look, a rainbow! What could this possibly mean? So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. You have an army. We have a Hulk. I'm just kidding. I'm the Hulk. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to think that she was crazy. Like, I was going to show you a part in a second. I'll show you where I thought she was going to ambush me. I thought she'd hide behind a tree like while I'm walking through here. And then she'd start blasting me or some shit. Y you never know. So... You don't want to fall for this trick. This is the first area, but you do not want to complete this area first because there's a requirement, something new in this game. As you can see, our wildlife preserve, we have animals containing animals. 
Yeah, a bear with a kangaroo and trapping him. So let's uh, let's talk to her, him, her. We're trying to free her from him. Sorry. God damn it. Spyro! My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorcerers. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. The sorceress has asked me to guard Sheila the kangaroo. I suppose if you had a bit more money, I'd be willing to let her escape. Then you could keep her for a pet or something. I hate you. So we need 300 gems to feel to free Sheila. And, uh... The sorceress has asked... No, I don't want to hear from the sorceress. This is what you want to do first, simply because... In every level now, we're gonna have characters that we can play as, such as Sheila, and um, there are gonna be secret parts to the level that you can't do unless you freed them. So we have to free her from jail. Yeah, Kangaroo Jack, we gotta free you. All right, so Hunter's waiting for me over here. What do you guys say, Hunter? Yo, Spyro, I just found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads to a different world, but you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the X button to jump, then press the X button again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me. Oh man, you gotta love Hunter's glide speeches. This is how you glide. I'm gonna fall on purpose because I wanna collect these gems on the floor here. Just sweeping the area, so like right here, this looks awfully suspicious. Like, as a kid growing up in the hood, you think that there'd be something hiding behind one of these trees ready to, to beat the living crap out of you? I don't know, hood stories. But it's like darker here for no reason. I guess it's because of the shade of the trees, but... Oh look, Hunter's over there too. Instant transmission, huh? All right, so now we got all these gems. I've cleaned this area up. Ah, fresh, so fresh. I like how they brought back in the opening cutscenes the dragons from the first game. They combined everything and made this game fantastic. However, for some reason, I still think Spyro 2 is on par with this game. This game is amazing. They improved on everything. But there's just something of Spyro 2 that I have a nostalgic value to that's really keeping it up there. So I'm going to glide. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Damn it. No, no, no. You stupid cheetah. Go sell some Cheetos, goddammit. I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the triangle. All right, we know how to hover. God damn it! look at him. He's doing some freestyle Tony Hawk shit. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. Yo, I was about to say, why aren't you picking up eggs for me? There was an egg sitting there and he ran past it, man. Coltrane. That's a weird name. I'm sorry for any fan out there named Coltrane, but I've never heard of that and never seen it in real life. So, heading down this well. Remember, we have all the powers that we have from the first game, like the head batch and stuff like that, I believe. This is a super fly power up, Spyro. Yes, we know what this is. Assuming that if you're watching this, you probably played the game and probably you've already seen what this does. But we're going to head to the end of the cave. We're going to sweep this first from back to front. Yes. And after we do that, wow, this water, this cave, the environments on our PS1, so surreal. And Sparks can't track gems right now because that was added in later. Like, you have to unlock that in this game. I think you were able to do it right off the start in the other one. So anyway, what you want to do is uh, grab this and just head right up. And we got Amy. Who put a bow on your head? You have artificial stuff without even being born? You're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard! Got some sheep, some gems, and collect these gems. Almost got 300 to reach my bail for Sheila. And gotta get this. But this game is actually pretty easy to 100%. As long as you, uh,. Follow the order, so you need 10 eggs to unlock this. A dinner party at the Tiki Lodge, and the portal to my home just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons hatch. Yo, the sheep has been getting on my nerve. Get out of the way. And I don't understand how dragons hatching opens the door to your home, but okay. Okay, I guess dragons should just have orgies everywhere. It's weird, because they're magical. Here we have Liam. 
But yeah, they clearly block you off from entering this world since you don't have 10 eggs. And here's Hunter. I see an egg at the bottom of this lake. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Maybe. You lazy sidekick. I wish I had Daxter. Bring me Daxter. It's funny, like, how they have that orange color scheme as the sidekick. We're just gonna collect all these gems real quick, real fast. And then collect this egg, I suppose. I have 310 gems. Oh, I got Bruce Lee, yes! All right, now uh, we got Bruce Lee. Five out of five eggs. Perfect. Now we got all five, and the water's clean, and my gems are nice and sparkly. I'm gonna collect these up here. All right. I'm gonna sweep this room. The room has been clean, and you'll learn about this later on. There's a hot air balloon for a certain reason. This is where you're gonna unlock Sparks' ability. Sparks, I have a special t Spyro, I have a special tax for Sparks. You're gonna have to come back later. Ah, this guy. I love this guy, the sea otter. 14 eggs. Here I was about to go for a nice swim at Shell Beach and my portal just disappeared right in front of me. If you go find some more of those dragon eggs, I bet this portal will turn on again. You see, the portal disappeared right in front of him. I'm guessing his friends locked him out. It wasn't the eggs disappearing. It was your friends just trying to get rid of you. They're like, ah, we got rid of that little shithead. Leave him over here with the, the tiki guy over there. Leave him with Hunter. The guy does nothing except for stare at you and teach you how to glide. And this should be it. I'm missing one jam. God, oh. Whew. That was close. 400 out of 400 gems. All five eggs, level complete. So this area is very easy to complete. It's no challenge at all. So before we head to Sunny Villa, you want to do Sheila the Kangaroo's area. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the Kangaroo. And I'm going to free her. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. And obese. What? No hard feelings, eh? Uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> you'd be one of them dragons then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. Dragons are magical. So we're gonna head into Sheila's world and use her and clean up the area. I'm trying to get some basics down, you know what I'm saying. The adventure continues. Sheila's Alp. All right, heading in here. What do we got? Uh, only 100 treasure. Damn, I'm broke. Can't even afford Burger King. McDonald's, I miss you. I'm flying into the sunset. Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Told you she was in jail. Hiya, Sheila. While you were gone, a bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. Oh, yeah. Look at that environment. Oh. PlayStation 1, man. Nostalgia factor. Love these graphics. And the music, man. All right. I collect these gems. I'm trying to get used to Sheila's controls. They're easy to master, but I, I just haven't played this game in so long. What the hell? Look at me trying to talk like I know what I'm doing. All right, gonna head up here. So every character has unique abilities and this is why Sheila went to jail because she committed murder like that. Like her, her feet are just too deadly. All right, so now we got all this. Kill the chicken. 
Goodbye. Damn, I just did a whoop. Killed him. What are you doing? You can get up really steep cliffs like this one with your double jump. Oh, oh yeah? I can get up really steep cliffs? Okay. I go up. And I also have like a head bash ability with the same controls. And I missed. Sparks, why are you here? Alright, collect these gems. At least I'm not as broke as I was before. I can afford a Big Mac now. Alright, heading over here. Get up. I wish you had a turbo button, Sheila, like you could charge something with your feet. I don't know. Heading up here. And what do you have, Billy? Uh, home at last. Yeah, I was saving this to make an omelette, but I think you deserve it more. Oh yeah, this will taste like shit. Ruby. Thank you. <laughs> and awkwardly walk away with the prize. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a moose over there. I go kill it. Oh damn, he gonna kill me. Let me go eat that chicken real quick. Cannibalism. Animals. And here we go. Collected these gems. Behind this wall over here, there are two pads that you must smash. There's a lot of secret entrances, entrances if you don't look around. Um, I guess the reason why is because uh, I guess if you don't scan your areas and surroundings enough, they really try to trick you because you could run right through these levels like super fast. I don't know how fast you can beat this game. I've never seen any speedruns, but there's definitely some out there. But it's ridiculously crazy at how fast and how how many things are taken into account. Like as you guys can see, look at this. I missed some over here. If you aren't looking carefully, you can miss a lot of paths. And I completely forgot about this. Oh yeah, moose, eat my feet. Oh yeah, he did. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm gonna collect everything in this room. All right, 300 gems. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And the cave should be clear. Now let me help Billy or Pete, whoever this is, get into his house, yeah? There we go. He got me trapped. No, no, no. Oh. Hey, Sheila, let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. About to butt you off the cliff. He's trying to kill my brethren over here. Look at this, Jenny. My sister and... How'd you get glasses and why do you need glasses? You're a dragon! Goddamn moose. Alright, so. We're gonna have to destroy these mushroom huts because they have an unlimited spawner on them. So I'm gonna break you. And I'm just gonna keep kicking. Out the way, out the way, out the way. They're just gonna keep spawning, so I just gotta get rid of these things first. Imagine it came down like a comet, like a falcon punch from the sky. That would be so epic. But unfortunately, I am only meant to come not combat moose and billy goat. Alright, so I think I've taken everything out, so let's just clean this area up and finish off these rhinox. Out the way, out the way, out the way, ow! He just pickaxed me and... Damn, I'm sliding on him like butter, did you see that? My feet are like lubricated or something. Eat this shit, chicken. All right, now that we got this run, hey, get out of here. I move fast at him. Yes. I wanted to do that at least to one person in the let's play. Move fast at them off of the cliff. I should have gotten a skill point or something if I did a bunch of them, maybe. Mufasa lives. Long live the king. <laughs> these games need to be remade or ported to like the PlayStation 4 trophies, man. I want trophies in these classic games. You know how fun it is to collect everything? Endless replay value. I can say that I come back to this game like every other year. It's 2015. This game came out like almost 20 years ago, man. Well, actually not 20 years. Maybe 15 years ago. All right. Bridge and clear. My name is Sheila. I live in the Alp. Arnold is coming through. The Schwarzenegger. Yes. I did not skip leg day. I go up here. I climb the mountain. I hunt the moose. And these should be two green ones. All right. 400 out of 400 gems. And heading over here. What do you have for me? Thanks for the help, Sheila. You can have this egg I found in my house. Oh, you found an egg. Oh yeah, we got none. 
I will teach him to terminate with his feet. So we've completed Sheila's world, the home world, at 100%. I think we're going to end it off here, guys. If you ever forget how to control a character or vehicle... I, how are you going to forget? It's just the same control scheme for everybody. Back to the home world. I think we're going to end it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next time, we're going to be heading to Sunny Villa and uh, completing that area and showing you guys exactly why I chose to do this world first. Anyway, make sure you guys like your favorite video. Subscribe for more. We'll be seeing you guys next time. Take care. Peace.